What is up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Jason, you are the audience, and today I've got my first written A-level exam out of five. Woohoo! Uh, this specific exam is a psychology one, focusing on the areas of attachment, memory, and research methods. And thanks to my revision and these sheets of awesomeness, I'm pretty confident that I'm going to get more than what I got for psychology in my mock. Although that's not really saying much, as I got a U in my mock. Uh, anyway, more importantly than my exam today, I'm also delivering parcels for my mum. And that may sound normal and not interesting, but there's something special about one of these parcels. Ready? It's turquoise! Oh my god! Uh, my exam is in four hours and I'm starting to get really nervous for some reason. I mean, I hate that feeling because I can be fine about an exam weeks beforehand, but when it gets to the actual day, for some reason I just turn into a little bitch about it. On the bright side, I don't actually have to be in school today until my exam starts, which gives me more time to revise. Or have a panic attack, whichever one comes first, really. I don't think this would be appropriate to wear during today's exam, but let's face it, if I did wear it, I would be the swaggiest mofo there. Goodbye, magical turquoise package. Our time together was brief, but I'll never forget it. Alright, this will probably be the last time I vlog before my exam, so wish me luck. Fuck, my wrist hurts. Ah. Alright, so I'm back home and the exam actually went a lot better than I expected, because I presumed I was going to do around C grade work, but I'm actually pretty confident that I got a B in that exam. And maybe even an A, but don't quote me on that. Uh, anyway, uh, the exam went really well, and right after the exam I was all happy in that. But then two things happened by talking to other people that made me kind of doubt myself. Because one is uh, by talking to other people I found out that I definitely got one of the two mark questions wrong, but that's not that big of a deal. And two, I thought I was really smart after leaving the exam. I was like, oh yeah, well, my revision has made me a genius. And then talking to other people, apparently every single person found it really easy as well. Which could mean that I didn't do well in the exam because I'm really smart, but because the exam was just easy in general. I have to put a downer on everything good that I do, don't I? I bet you that everything I'm saying right now is going to come back and bite me in the ass later because right now I can be all like, oh yeah, the exam was really easy, maybe even got an A, when in reality I've probably gotten a U. Anyway, my next exam is an English Lit exam which takes place on Friday, which gives me two days to revise. But to be honest with you guys, I don't think I'm going to really revise my English exam as much as I do my other exams, because English is more, you know, open to interpretation, because there's less actual specific facts that you've got to remember. So for example, I could literally write something down like, uh, Coleridge created an albatross in his poem because aliens! And uh, if I somehow managed to find a quote to support that point, I would get a high grade. Yay! Uh, and because I'm already really confident with all the text, I don't think I'll have to spend that much time revising it. Double yay! So, because I don't really need to spend that much time revising for my exam on Friday, I'm going to try and use my time today effectively. So what shall I do? Hmm. I know, I'll read a book. Yeah, a nice good book all. Yeah, a book of duty. A book all of duty. Call of duty. I'm going to play some Call of Duty now. See you later. Okay then, I haven't recorded in a couple of hours. In fact, it's actually half ten right now. And what have I gotten up to? Uh, I played Call of Duty, of course. Uh, I watched a little bit more of Attack on Titan, I'm really getting into that series. Uh, I revised a little bit more, and then I spoke about some Comic-Con plans with my friends. So, you know, not terribly exciting, but there was one amazing thing about tonight. I got a bowl of takeaway chips! Wow! I mean, you guys may not find that that interesting, but... Fuck it, I've got a bowl of takeaway chips! <laughs> anyway, today's been a really good day, and that's good, but that usually means that something bad is going to happen to me. Because that's just how my life works. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go. So, if you guys enjoyed the video, like, subscribe. If you didn't enjoy the video, like, subscribe. And if you made it this far into the video, well done. See you tomorrow. I've got a bowl of motherfucking takeaway chips. Booyah! Mmm, baby. Mm, mm. I know this is so wrong, but you're just so... You're just so chippy. Mm. Mm. Oh! Oh, hey there. Uh, this? Oh, no, this isn't what it looks like. Uh, this was, um... This was... Uh, Fine, okay, I was kissing a chip, but don't pretend you haven't. Mm. Mm. This is so attractive. <laughs>